Last night, while imaging M104, the Sombrero Galaxy, uh, Lauren asked if I had uh, tried C star yet at 20 seconds or 30 seconds. As soon as we were done with M104, uh, there was enough night left to give it a try. M5, Messier 5 was right there, so we went for it, and uh, C star found it very quickly. I decided to autofocus just to make sure that we have as sharp as possible of a display. Uh, to my surprise, and this is not the first time with the new firmware, uh, C star showed no object as opposed to M5, even though it found M5. Right after the autofocus, not having enough time, not having enough night, I decided to capture only two minutes each at 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and 30 seconds. Uh, this was at the end of the two minutes with the 10 seconds. Went back to uh, advanced settings, uh, selected 20 seconds, and when I launched it, uh, it uh, went ahead, C star went ahead and captured a new set of darks. Uh, this was the preparing for image enhancing. It reused the same horizon calibrating uh, which had succeeded earlier in the night, it just applied it. Uh, when we were done with capturing the darks, we went ahead and captured two minutes worth of 20 second <laughs> exposures. As soon as that was done, we went back 30 seconds and uh, started the capture with 30 seconds. It went through image enhancing again, capturing a new set of darks for the 30 seconds and it started capturing. And this was the surprise. It never made it past stacking three frames, never ma made it past a minute and 30 seconds, never got to two minutes. The image gets star trails and is discarded. It kept uh, failing. There was no wind. It was a crystal clear night and the wind was still. Uh, National Weather Service said zero, stuck my head out. There was absolutely no wind. So there were stack failures. I went back to look at the images, and here they are, uh, the 10 second, uh, 20 second, and 30 second. And uh, first thing I did was put them side by side. It is really hard to tell them apart. If you look very, very carefully, you could see the elongated pixels, or the elongated stars, I should say, on 30 seconds. Other than that, they are very similar. One thing worth noting is the sky is darker as you go from 10 to 20 to 30, the sky gets darker. Zooming in onto the core of the galaxy of M5, uh, the only thing I can notice here is that these are eggs as opposed to circles, as opposed to rounds. Other than that, uh, the cores are pretty much the same. Uh, you might say 20 seconds looks just a touch sharper, but uh, it's a matter of opinion at this point. Looking at those three stars side by side, one, two, three, and one, two, three, it is obvious that 20 second exposures is giving slightly more defined stars. Here on 30 seconds, they are obviously eggs, elongated stars. Uh, picking one of the stars and trying to look at it in some detail, it shows very clearly that uh, 10 second and 20 second, the stars are round, uh, 30 seconds, the star is oblong. Uh, that is a more dramatic way of looking at it. Uh, round stars versus an oblong star. Using uh, ASI FITS viewer, I looked at the histograms of the three uh, images of the raw FITS files. And uh, you can tell what we expected all along. The average here is 599 for the 10 seconds. It is 767 for the 20 seconds and uh, 1049 for the 30 seconds. Those peaks are very, very close to where the averages are. 
this peak is just past the 550 this one is past the 700 and this one is past the 900 so this is telling me that the signal to noise ratio improves as we use longer exposures per frame even though we have the total number the same essentially number of stacked uh, images uh, this one is two minutes this one is two minutes this one is only a minute and a half uh, of stacks the sharper peaks at 10 seconds and then slightly flatter at 20 and then obviously a lot flatter at 30. conclusions uh, i will be using 20 second stacks from now on uh, M5 was a tough target for C-Star to deal with for this particular test. I will probably repeat this test again on the Nebula. Uh, this one's strictly a globular, globular cluster. Uh, if I called it galaxy, I apologize to the purists. I promise not to do it again. It is not a galaxy, it's a cluster. Uh, but beyond that, uh, the 30 second, not only did it fail to stack more than three, three frames, uh, the, uh, the stars were just uh, too uh, oblong, too dilated uh, for my own liking. So, this is the Rooster and Observatory, uh, wishing you all a Merry Christmas and some uh, very round stars and clear nights. So long.